Welcome back to Tashkid FX for another Harmony One price prediction update. And in this video, I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the Harmony One chart, which at the time of this recording has lost the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart, which is now acting as resistance. We are also holding above a key area of support at around the $0.1651 mark. We have also continued to obey the ADO structures where we had been seeing a bit of a breakdown to the lower side in the formation of this wave 2 in a move that has now managed to to get into the minimum retracement area which lies between the 0.01981 dollar mark and the 0.01386 dollar mark in a move that gave us a low at around the 0.01499 dollar mark and i believe that whatever we are seeing at the moment is the start of an impulsive wave to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 and before i get further into the technical analysis to give you the short term scenarios and also sketch out my target areas to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 first give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to continue with the video here on the four hour chart by first giving you a recap of what has been happening where you can see that after making our lower low at around the 0.009 dollar mark we started this massive run up to the upper side obeying the adiotive structures where you can see that i have this adiotive structure in red having the first wave giving us a peak at around the 0.029 dollar mark and after seeing the high for that wave one we started a corrective structure in the formation of this wave two and using the Fibonacci connecting them from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one, that gave me a minimum retracement area in the formation of that wave two between the Fib level 0 0.5 and the Fib level 0 0.78, which is a target area that we have now fully maximized. And I now believe that whatever we are seeing is the formation of that wave three to the upper side. And to also give you another reason as to why I believe that we have seen the bottom for that second wave, we in the formation of that second wave, we also expected to see an ABC corrective structure also play out where you can see that here on the charts i have this abc corrective structure where i was expecting that we'll see to give us the low for that second wave and also fully maximize our target area and sketching out a minimum target area to the lower side in the formation of that wave C by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the high of that wave A to the low of that wave A, then dragging the Fibs to the high of that wave B, that gave me a minimum retracement area in the formation of that wave C at the Fib level 1.618 and that is at around the $0.1651 mark. We fully maximized that target area and even made a low below the target area at around the $0.01494 mark and that's the reason as to why I believe that we have now seen the bottom for that second wave to the lower side and now sketching out a target area to the upper side in the formation of this wave 3 by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the Fibs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 at the Fib level 1.618 and that is at around the $0.04747 mark and that is the minimum that I'm expecting this wave 3 to the upper side to do and in the formation of that wave 3 which is an impulsive wave I'm also expecting to see a 5 wave structure in formation within the formation of that larger area to wave count 3 having the wave 5 fully maximizing our target areas and also giving us the high for that wave 3 to the upper side and I believe we are seeing such a scenario here on the harmony one chart and that is better seen here on the one hour chart so jumping to the one hour chart for further analysis and also give you the short term scenarios you can see that after seeing our bottom in the formation of that second wave, we saw that massive run up to the upside giving us a peak at around the $0.02209 mark. And by first giving you a measure from this low down here, you can see that the market was up by more than 49 point uh 48.89 percent which is a very massive run up to the upper side and since I have said that in the formation of that wave 3, we also expect to see fractal waves in formation. I believe that after making our low down here in the formation of this wave 2, this run up to the upside that we saw over here is the formation of that first wave to the upper side. So I believe that we have picked in the formation of that wave 1. And having seen a more than 48.89% run up to the upper side, I believe that most of the traders are now taking profits. And that's the reason as to why we are seeing a bit of a pullback to the lower side in the formation of this wave 2 and once we see the low for this second wave then i'll be expecting another massive run up to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 before we can expect a wave 4 and then a wave 5 to the upper side to complete an even larger edge of wave count 1 to the upper side so once you see the formation of that 5 wave structure we can term that as a larger edge of wave count 1 and sketching out a target area to the lower side in the formation of this wave 2 
by connecting the Fibonacci's from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1, that gave me a minimum retracement area in the formation of that wave 2 between the Fib level 0 0.5 and the Fib level 0 0.618 and I can mark that target area here on the charts like that which lies between the 0 0.0185 dollar mark and the 0 0.0164 dollar mark and this is the minimum that I'm expecting this second wave to the lower side to do and at the time of this recording you can see that we have not yet managed to get into that blue target area in the formation of that wave 2 and what that means is that there are chances that we might see one more leg down here on the harmony one chart to fully get into this minimum retracement area in the formation of that wave 2 and once that happens then that will be enough confirmation that we have seen the bottom for this second wave and then from there we can expect a massive run up to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 but you also need to have in mind that there are chances that we might not get into this minimum retracement area but instead we might see a reaction of the area between the FIB level 0.382 and the FIB level 0 0.5 within which we are trading within and in case we see a reaction of those key areas here on the Fibonacci's then there are chances that we might start our massive run up to the upside manage to break above the 20 day MA here on the one hour chart have the support that we need for us to continue gearing up and the moment we manage to break above this wave one high at around the 0 0.02202 dollar mark then that will be enough confirmation that whatever we are seeing is the formation of that wave three to the upper side and if that is the case we can sketch out a target area to the upper side in the formation of that wave three by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one and then dragging the FIBs to the lows that we have in the formation of this wave 2 and that gives me a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 at the FIB level 1.618 and that is at around the 0.03037 dollar mark and that is the minimum that we can expect Harmony 1 to do in the formation of that wave 3 assuming that we are not going to get into this blue target area but the most ideal situation would be to get into this blue target area so that we can see that we have bottomed out in the formation of that wave 2 and then from there we can be confident when sketching out our target areas to the upside in the formation of that wave 3. I'm expecting the chart con to continue unfolding uh, obeying these editor structures that I have right here and once you see the bottom for that second wave then we can expect our massive run up to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 and jumping to the 4 hour chart to take a look at the indicators on the RSI we are trading at around the 52 mark meaning we have massive room for us to fully support higher prices in case the reversal starts but in case the breakdown continues that movement will still be supported also taking a look at the market you have been able to print a bearish cross suggesting lower prices are coming our way and there are chances of fully maximizing our blue target area in the formation of that wave too so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'll be keeping you updated